of Marketers, we're aware that each interaction that a potential customer has with your brand gets them one step closer to generating leads and sales. In order to fine-tune your advertising efforts, you must identify which specific advertising interaction deserves the most credit for persuading them to get in touch with your sales team or make an online purchase. This is what attribution models focus on. In this video, I will walk you through each of the attribution models available within Google Ads and provide advice to recognize which one is the best fit for your industry and brand. Before we get started, you should know that we upload videos twice a week, so make sure to subscribe and activate the notifications button. Now let's dive in. What are attribution models? Attribution models determine how you distribute the credit of each conversion or sell. Depending on your marketing efforts, potential customers can interact with your brand through PPC ads, organic searches, email marketing, social media, or referral traffic. They will go through an exploration and evaluation cycle until they finally book an appointment, fill out a form, make a call, or purchase your product online. Pro tip. Keep in mind that attribution models within Google Ads are only available for interactions on the search network and shopping ads. Likewise, models are available for websites, Google Analytics, phone call, and import conversion actions, but not for apps and in-store conversions. Type of attribution models. There are six attribution models available. The last click model. It will attribute all credit to the user's last click ad and the corresponding keyword. The first click attribution. This will only attribute conversions to the user's first click ad and its keyword. The linear attribution model. This one will equally distribute credit to all the user's touch points. Time DK attribution. It gives more credit to the ads the user interacted nearest to the conversion occurring. The closer in time a click is to the conversion, the more weight its corresponding advertisement will get. Position based. The first and last ad the user interact with will get 40% of the credit each. The remaining 20% of the credit will be shared equally across the other touch points that led to their conversion. Last but not least, the data-driven model that uses machine learning to attribute credit based on fast data in general. In order to utilize this attribution model, Google requires a minimum of 15,000 clicks and 600 conversions in the last 30 days. Which attribution model is best? Attribution models are closely related to your industry and brand sales funnels. What's most appropriate for some businesses won't be for others. We can depend on certain criteria to identify which model is best suited for your brand and particular business goals. If your primary objective is to create brand awareness, then first click attribution will be a good fit. Brand awareness in general revolves around users' initial interactions with brands. Position-based attribution has synergy with advertising strategies that use both high and low funnel targeting approaches. By distributing most of the credit to the first and final interactions that lead to a conversion, we make sure that the advertising campaign elements that spark initial interest and finalize the interactions will guide our ongoing optimizations. If you are mainly focused on generating leads or online purchases and have enough data available, we recommend you implement data-driven attribution. It is the most ideal attribution model to use as long as the data requirements can be met. Data-driven is fully automated. Instead of choosing the attribution model manually, Google decides how much conversion credit goes to every touch point. What if I'm not able to use data-driven attribution? You can still get detailed insights about your conversions through Google Analytics. It will allow you to identify your user's top conversion paths, which ads produce assisted conversions, and which ads are obtaining direct conversions. Conclusions based on the results of your own data will ultimately be the best guide to decide which attribution model to use. As you develop your ongoing PPC expertise, you may encounter different opinions on which attribution model matches best with a particular situation. Despite these differences, we always can and should periodically evaluate the models through Google Analytics. In this manner, we get to identify which efforts, whether from paid advertising or other sources, help brands the most to fulfill their business goals. We're also able to observe which communication channels work best with each step in the sales funnel and how we can align advertising messages accordingly. If you want to learn more about analyzing the impact of your online strategies, leave your comments below, visit our blog, or contact us.